Hi guys, uh, today I would like to do uh, some product review and this is adjustable, adjustable circuit board holder. Um, the reason I'm trying to do review because I think it might be, uh, I, I think it looks pretty interesting and it's inexpensive. So I got it from Amazon, uh, I don't remember exactly how much I paid but if I got it I believe uh, it was like maybe 10 to 15 dollars. So uh, it it some kind of un unknown company called Avon, and it product code is seventeen zero ten, seventeen hundred ten. So what's interesting about this one? It actually consists of clamps which are adjustable, and you can clamp different sizes of uh, PCBs or circuit boards. So let's do some unboxing. So yeah, that's how it comes. It's already we can see what it actually is, how it looks like. And um, I have some two more two two, uh, two feet here. This thing's this thing's supposed to be like this. So let's put it together. Removing those screws first. I was looking for uh, for something like that um, because whatever uh, thing like a third hand thingy I have, these crocodile clips are for like pretty bad for some bigger things for bigger um, circuit boards. Really hard to oh, come here. Really hard to do anything because it's very unstable. This one will be great for soldering and any desoldering jobs. That's not really easy to do over the camera here. Okay. This one try to escape all the time. Okay. So I put it together. That's how it looks like. So to, it is adjustable this way to accommodate different sizes of uh, circuit boards. Also, I mean, for the stability, you can do this way. Essentially, you can do something fairly big. And the uh, biggest size you you can accommodate is something about like 21 centimeter. It's pretty good. It's pretty decent size. The smallest, obviously, all the way here. Uh, so we can secure like this over here and then secure it well enough. More. All right. Oh, I still need more. Yeah, those uh, screws are not that. Okay, so now. We can place our PCB here, and uh, yeah, this one is not really. All right, place PCB. Use this spring-loaded uh, clamp to secure uh, to actually apply some pressure to you know keep PCB in place. And also, you can secure um, those clamps because clamps can be rotated, right? So, all right, let's. Let's try uh, a PCB here. 
Well, if you remember my previous video, I do have this um, D-Link router uh, circuit board and uh, here all capacitors are um, essentially candidates to explode. So let's just assume we're gonna work on this circuit board or maybe you will work on this circuit board to unsolder those capacitors. I think the, the right workflow is to measure like something like that. It's gonna be the size. Screw it in. Oh, not the right size yet. A little bit fiddly. Something like this. So you're able to work on one side, turn around, you can work on another side, turn around, work on this side. If you need to secure it, you can just secure these things like that and it's pretty secure I mean depends how much pressure you're gonna apply but it's good enough you're not gonna hammer this thing right you're not gonna do any like drilling or anything like that but theoretically if you secure it well, secure it well enough you can try to do some drilling yep so for example if I would uh, unsolder those capacitors I would probably put them like this and start unsoldering Moving capacitors on this side. Uh, I think it's pretty handy because this is all stable. It's really stable on the desk. It's really sturdy. Uh, it have, uh, have it has weight to it, uh, and not going to be you know moving around while you try to a little bit use your desoldering iron to press a little bit on the on the board. What's good about this one? You can actually use different angles like this nicely. Um, you can completely secure it, or you can slightly unscrew it, give a little bit of tension and just, uh, you know, rotate it in any direction um, you want. So I think it's a pretty good addition to my set of tools for a soldering works. So I would, you know, uh, I will um, try to uh, find the link to the, to the product. I will include this in the video. So maybe you'll be interested to pick it up. I have no, uh, you know, Nothing to do with this company or Amazon. It's just I think this is really kind of useful product. Um, maybe we can try actually desolder those. So I think it would be very helpful to mark actually polarity of the capacitors. Uh, just uh, when I'm going to install them, it'll be easier to um, not fiddle around, figure out what's the right polarity. We it still can be uh, can figure out because usually, usually, the negative. Uh, electrode of the capacitor connected to the ground but not necessarily always so I have my sharpie I'm gonna just write on a on a uh, circuit board right on the other side negative okay this one is negative some of them pretty obvious because this is for example ground plane and you know that you know negative gonna go to ground plane So it's negative. Negative. Yeah, this is pretty straightforward here. No big deal. And this is negative. Yeah, all of them are connected to ground plane, so you can see this. All these guys are essentially negative. Did I miss something? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was eight capacitors. What did I miss? Yeah, yeah, eight, everything. This is ninth capacitor. It seems to be like it. This guy, little guy, is fine. So, all right, all right. So I have my um, unsoldering iron handy, and I tried to actually already uh, already tried to unsolder 
uh, one or two capacitors and I think I have technical difficulties here. I think this unsoldering iron is just incapable to work with multi-layer PCBs and especially when uh, one of the uh, leads of the uh, component is actually connected to ground plane because it just doesn't have enough oomph or not enough thermal mass so it just cannot liquefy the solder to suck it in. By the way this is like super cheap I got it in non-existing radio shock I think I'm not sure um, well in, yeah I got it in in states like uh, several years ago I don't think radio shock exists at least that store particular store I bought it in in, in states is does not exist anymore um, so let me try um, one more time on but I, I do believe this thing doesn't have enough thermal mass to actually uh, unsolder uh, anything on this kind of bigger PCB. I was using this with small tiny PCBs and it was actually working very well. But on this one it's just not working. Yeah, it just, it can't, unless they use some kind of, you know, high temperature, higher temperature solder. But but this is beside the point. This is just uh, was added bonus. I just try to, um, you know, sure, I'm gonna zoom out, zoom out some of my camera just to show, you know, what you can do with uh, with this uh, PCB um, adjustable PCB holder. Uh, it would be a good example of uh, unsoldering uh, unsoldering works, but I, I can't. <laughs> Looks like it's not gonna work. And by the way, in order to fix this, I, uh, I fix this board. I have to unsolder all those capacitors and replace them. So I have to figure out how would I do it because this thing is just incapable. But okay, back to our um, uh, board holder or PCB holder. I think it works pretty well. And if, for example, if you need to work with something um, even bigger, uh, so it totally can support up to 21 centimeters uh, long uh, PCBs. If it's like big square 21 by 21, I don't think you won't be able to like rotate it like that because it's, I think it's, uh, it's maximum, I think it's maximum like seven, seven centimeters. So that's fine, uh, but longer PCBs or smaller like that perfectly perfectly works I really like it I think it's a very helpful uh, little device o also it cannot it can, uh, can be used for anything for example if you want to analyze uh, signals you can attach your probes over here uh, it will be you know much easier you can put it in a certain angle for example if you take uh, you want to take signals from uh, one of those um, chips uh, you want to keep them at certain angle so you just you know secure everything like this you know secure it in place and you know, attach your probes or little um, um, you know, hooks, and uh, you can you know take uh, signals. So yeah, that's uh, it's pretty good, pretty good device. I recommend. Uh, I clearly recommend it. I didn't really use it, you know, as you know, I just unboxed it, right? I didn't use it for long, so I don't know how it's gonna hold. Hold. The oh, by the interesting test. Let me try something. Just you know. Durability test, right? What if I take this soldering iron, it's still hot, right? And just try to, you know, melt something here in this you know, over core. Yeah, it melts very easily. So this plastic is not uh, some kind of thermal, you know, resistive plastic. It melts super easy. I'd like to know what the, what the hell is that. Okay, let's try this plastic. This seems to be more... Oh, that plastic is good. Wait. That's not plastic. I'm sorry. This is actually aluminum. So th those two things are metal. The, those uh, those clamps are metal. The clamp arms are plastic, and it melts like no like um, it melts in no time. So this is very soft plastic. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this melts too. But in general, I think this is pretty good product. Very helpful. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and see you next time.